Okay, so Procreate 5.2 is out and the world's going crazy. So, the thing right now that is blowing my mind, not blowing my mind, that I'm super stoked about is the page assist thing. It means that you can create a digital sketchbook in one document in Procreate rather than having a whole bunch of documents and then folders and trying to organize all of that. You can have a sketchbook in one document and easily scroll between the different pages in your sketchbook. If you wanna start a daily practice of sketching or doodling or creating even for five or 10 minutes a day in Procreate, this is what makes it super cool. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So inside of Procreate, I'm gonna create a new canvas. I'm gonna go for a screen size. You can go for whatever size you want but the bigger you have it, the less amount of pages or layers you can have. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here. Be like, uh, uh, so what's so really good about this? It just looks like there's one page. Well, check this out. You tap on that cog icon, go to your canvas uh, preference pane over here, and then tap on page assist. And you'll see that this thing comes up and it looks a lot like animation assist, which is, wow, very similar, right? Yeah. So. I'm gonna go and do my first doodle. And then bam, new page, number two. Now I've got three pages that kind of line up right over here. Maybe you can't see them that well, so let's go to our light interface. How about that? Three, two, one. So each page is actually a layer, pretty simple. If you want to put a whole bunch of stuff into a page, you could create a new layer and here it creates it as a new page, but then you select both of these and you group them and now it sees that as a page. So here you can be like three degrees or something like that. So there we go. This is how we create and navigate between our pages which man, this is just really cool. It means you can open up one document and have a bunch of different pages. And on each next page, you can do like a daily sketch. So we could do a tree or, you know, something that I saw today uh, was a, a dog just going like really, really fast and crazy around all kinds of trees and stuff. So let's do a dog. I'm super good at realistic drawing. Just beware. I'm also really good at sarcasm. Um, there we go. There's a dog. But the thing was, it was going around all kinds of trees and poles and stuff. Oh my! And so perhaps I could doodle that just really quickly as like an idea. What I think is a really good idea here is to date or to number your pages. So perhaps over here on our first page, uh, you could put the date uh, possibly bottom left. So the date today is the second. So we could go to November 2021, something like that. And that just, you know, it makes it feel like it's an actual journal or a notebook or a sketchbook. And then you could just sign your name in the other corner or however you want to do it. I find that that would be pretty helpful so that you know when you did this particular page, when you did the sketch. A couple more things here I want to show you is that if you go to your canvas settings and you go to canvas information, head down to layers. The maximum number of layers for this particular document is 91. If you have bigger documents, then you will have less layers. If you have older iPads, you'll have less layers. So if you have a new iPad, and you go for a small document, man, you could have a lot of layers. But for me, this could be pretty cool. It means I could do a month to three months worth of daily sketching in just this one document, which is really, really powerful. It means I could potentially create a new Procreate document for every single month of the year. That's only 12 documents, whereas before I'd have to create a new document and store them in folders just to do a daily sketch, which was just crazy. Now this part is for the Procreate team and maybe you would agree with me. What I find frustrating is that I can't like select a layer and make it the background, which would be really nice if I could change the background color or put in like a, a moleskin kind of texture 
background, but I can't. But I can't! But check this, this would be your animation. And if I had to tap on that, I can select that as my background and I could select this as my foreground. It would just be really nice if using Page Assist that that came through as well, but it hasn't. So Procreate, I'd like to see this update please. Sometime, it would be really, really nice. All right, that is the end of this showcase of this awesome feature in Procreate 5.2. I know the rest of the world's probably like, whoa, 3D stuff, this and that, but this, this is what is gonna help you create better, create more. It's what's gonna help you develop your style. So use it. Use a real sketchbook, use a digital sketchbook, create daily, even for five to 10 minutes every single day. It helps, it's amazing, it gets your creativity going. All right, my name is Rich Armstrong from TipTip, kaboom, and I will see you soon, bye.